In the northwestern corner of the progressive state of North Carolina, there is a booming, prosperous county named Wilkes. Its lands are varied and attractive. The climate is ideal, and the brushy mountain section is in that freak of nature area, the thermal belt, where frosts are unknown, a fact which accounts for the county's preeminence in apple production. Yes, Wilkes County is one of the best rounded in the state, being first in poultry products, apple growing, and in lumber and fur markets. With such advantages in a county, it is understandable how a vigorous, lusty community would feed from this natural wealth and grow into one of the leading business towns of its size in the nation. And so it has been with North Wilkesboro, one of the first five retail markets in America. Wilkesboro, another town and the county seat, is separated from North Wilkesboro by the swift-flowing Yadkin River. Every day is Saturday in these thriving mountain towns. Early morning finds its streets alive with the bustling activity of townspeople and county farmers and residents milling about the streets and shops. In this recent building era, civic-minded merchants with an eye to the future progress of the county have renovated and improved their shops to keep pace with this progress. Typical one of these is the Spain Hour Snyder Company, one of the most widely known department stores in Wilkes County, which celebrates its 77th anniversary in the county this year with a completely remodeled store. Modern in every respect and completely air-conditioned throughout, every space and floor has been designed for the shopping convenience of its loyal customers. With the same reliable merchandise and faith in the progress of the county, Spain Hour Snyder Company looks eagerly to serving a growing populace with even greater satisfaction in the future. This same trend toward improvements is shown in Horton's beautiful new drug store in the apartment center. A sparkling clean fountain adds new zest to those favorite photos. Every item in the store has been replenished with fresh stocks of anything you desire in your drug needs. Long years of faithful service in their prescription department is an accepted fact. The department and appliance center adjoins the drugstore and is chock full of beautiful time-saving household devices for the discerning housewife. Yes, Hortons is certainly an eye-catching credit to North Wilkesboro shopping district. City government centers around the town hall where the town mayor and city council members gather periodically to discuss and motivate plans for the general improvement and concern of the community. Forever active in affairs of city government is the police force, whose foremost concern is the protection of Wilkesboro and North Wilkesboro citizens. Local homes and businesses are adequately protected by a modern alert fire department too, fully prepared at all times to fight the fire hazards that may threaten the community. Banking service reflects Wilkes County's progressive spirit. Here an adequate number of banks take seriously their role as the financial heart of Wilkesboro and North Wilkesboro's teeming industrial and business life. Through these banks flow the money, credits, checks and savings that make the wheels go round. To the Bank of North Wilkesboro, individuals and businesses know they can come with confidence when they seek financial aid or advice. No better success story in North Wilkesboro can be told than that of S.B. Tomlinson, a wholesale grocer serving northwestern North Carolina for 40 years. Operating as a wholesale grocery store, they also carry a large stock of feed for livestock and poultry and other supplies for the farmer.
Other than being one of the county's largest and oldest poultry dealers, they are also prominent in the livestock trade. Carrying their services into every modern day need, the Tomlinson Concern is a wholesale distributor for Amoco gas, oil, and tires in this vicinity. They are also distributors for the famous Maytag washer, freezer, ironer, and gas range in Wilkes County. Through the reliable service of the Tomlinson Concern, this popular product has enjoyed an unusually good business in this section. Maytag is truly the universal household word, as proved in many homes in Wilkes County. The Tomlinson Department Store on Main Street renders another necessary service in complete and dependable merchandise for all the family. This store carries one of the largest stocks of quality merchandise in the city. The Tomlinson Company operates, for the convenience of city and county housewives, three up-to-date grocery stores, Davis & Company on A Street, r &O Grocery Company on B Street, and the City Grocery Company on 10th Street. Finally, the Key City Baking Company completes the variety of services furnished by the Tomlinson Concern. Bakers of Jim Dandy bread, cakes, pies, and pastries, this bakery employs 20 local people. Because of its location and services rendered, it is possible for hundreds of merchants to receive their orders within a few hours after they're baked by means of an efficient fleet of trucks. This community is rich in public resources and services. While each plays an important part in the business and social activities of local citizens and county residents alike, at the same time they lend admirably to the structural beauty of the town. A vital public service is displayed in the Wilkes Hotel, Truly a charming and friendly home away from home. In that its owner, Mr. J.B. McCoy, is a civic-minded leader in the town, he maintains this hotel not only for the convenience of tourists, but for the services of local citizens. By reasons of its excellent food, special facilities and service, the Wilkes Hotel is indeed the civic center of the town and county. City bus transportation in the two towns is supplied by the service of the Wilkes Transportation Company. Recognizing a growing need for such a service in this thriving community, the company was organized several years ago. It has since served this area faithfully with carefully planned schedules routed for the convenience of its commuters. Supplementing this intercity bus service is a sufficiency of dependable taxi cabs. Most outstanding in this service is the fleet of Busex cabs. Their polite, courteous drivers are ever aware of giving safe, dependable transportation, a fact that has made Busex cabs a credit to transportation facilities in this community. Although the North Wilkesboro Building and Loan Association and the Insurance Service and Credit Corporation are two separate businesses, they are closely related in that they offer a complete service in building, insurance, and financing. J.B. Williams is the secretary treasurer and manager of the Building and Loan Association, which in 45 years of operation has practically built this community. The finance and insurance departments were organized in 1941 with Mr. Williams as president and is one of the largest in the state. The insurance department alone was established in the early 1900s and was the first incorporated insurance agency in North Carolina. Evidence of this company's value to the community is shown in many of Wilkesboro's and North Wilkesboro's beautiful homes. 
whether they are large, pretentious ones on beautiful shaded lawns, or small, neat bungalows with tidy gardens, together they vibrate the wholesome substantiality which give these towns a fine dignity. In this home-loving community, one would naturally expect to find a sufficiency of home furnishings. The ideal furniture company is adequately stocked with furnishings for every room in the home. Discriminating and conservative shoppers alike find in this wide and varied assortment the quality, durability, and style which best suit their needs and desires. Yes, the ideal furniture company is an excellent source from which to furnish this community's homes durably and in good taste. A variety of home appliances, gadgets, and devices that lighten the burden of household duty, thrifty housewives wind their way to the Carolina Home and Auto Store. Men like it, too, for its treasure of tools, auto accessories, and fine fishing equipment. Nationally advertised products at new low prices make this store a credit to the diversified businesses found in this well-rounded, self-sufficient shopping district. Complete in every detail, the main business district holds a variety of fine eating establishments, too. The Princess Cafe is widely recognized among townspeople, tourists, and the county for its delicious country hams and variety of well-balanced, deliciously prepared meals. Quick, courteous service makes it a favorite spot with busy shoppers and downtown employees alike. The people of Wilkes County are essentially a religious people. When their pioneer ancestors came to this then outermost frontier of the colonies, they brought their rifles and Bibles with them. The former have long been discarded, but the Bibles were cherished and have multiplied manifold. The deep-seated religious convictions of their foreparents have always been retained. Today, Wilkes County has as large a number of adherents to the Christian belief as any other community in America. The kind, sympathetic services of the Rain Sturdivant Funeral Home are truly a credit to the community. For years, they have been building a reputation of usefulness through their kindness to bereaved families throughout the county. Like other conscientious services, they are already, always, efficiently equipped and prepared to extend the proper attentions required of them. The town of Wilkesboro was founded in 1778 and played a great part in the country's early history. From this region were recruited the valorous band of backwater men who met and obliterated the British Army at Kings Mountain. Still rich in history and tradition, many old landmarks of early life in Wilkesboro still stand today and provide interesting pastime to visitors. It was from Wilkesboro that Daniel Boone set out on his trail to Kentucky, where he and his companions performed the dangerous duty of cover protection for the weak settlements eastward of the mountain. It is ironical that this marker, so reminiscent of the early mode of foot travel, would stand in front of a modern service center, which caters to ultra-modern service for present-day transportation. Forrester's New Way service station has been instrumental in creating a splendid impression of the town and county with tourists and townspeople who visit this courteous station for unexcelled services and quality petroleum products. The Independent Oil Company of North Carolina, operators of Forrester's New Way station, are also equipped to better serve Wilkes homes with kerosene and fuel oil by new modern metered service trucks that ensure safe and clean delivery. While cherishing its brilliant past, 
present-day Wilkesboro is more concerned with the future in making and carrying out plans to foster its growth and expansion in business and industry. The younger business element of the town has assumed a major role in this campaign. Gray Brothers Furniture Company exemplifies the efforts of two progressive Wilkesboro businessmen who have full faith in the future progress of this community. They have wisely stocked their store with good home furnishings and a wide variety of styles, materials, and prices. From porch to living room, bedroom to kitchen, through to beautiful and useful home appliances, each piece has been placed here for your approval, selection, and satisfactory use. Two towns are replete with excellent educational resources that provide the education for its children and help prepare them for facing the future. These schools are properly organized with able staffs who've been thoroughly trained to guide and teach these future young citizens of tomorrow. Supplementing public school resource is the Henshaw Beauty School, where students are thoroughly trained in the latest beauty culture achievements under the guidance of accredited, state-approved instructors. This school affords hundreds of students yearly a splendid opportunity to train for good-paying positions. Nominal fees and short terms soon allow students to embark on their own beauty careers. Another advantage lies in the fact that there is no age limit for enrollment. Therefore, this education resource reaches both men and women in all adult age groups. Wilkes County looks with pride to this added educational advantage 